Merhaba, hi everyone. This is Ayşenur Altan. Welcome to Turkish Food Recipes. I'm excited to share the recipe of well-known delicious Turkish food of all time, lahmacun. It is a great street food and you can mostly find it in any restaurants in Turkey. It's also known as Turkish pizza but has a very thin crust and topped with ground beef, vegetables, spices and tomato mixture. You garnish it with fresh tomatoes, parsley and squeeze of lemon juice and eat rolled up like a burrito. It is so yummy and from now on you will be able to make it at home. So let's get started. Okay, let's start with the dough. I have 10 grams of fresh yeast here. You can use 1 teaspoon dry yeast if you want. And also it is optional uh, if you don't want to use you can make it without yeast too. To my mixing bowl I'm adding one cup of lukewarm water along with the yeast and close to three cups of all-purpose flour and half teaspoon salt one teaspoon vegetable oil. Mix the dough to make a soft, somewhat sticky, smooth dough and I'm going to rest it for about half an hour so I can roll it better. In the meanwhile we can prepare the topping. Here I have 250 grams of ground meat, two sweet green peppers, one medium sized onion, two tomatoes, handful of parsley. I'm also going to add some uh, roasting pimentos, one uh, sweet pepper. As a spices along with three cloves of garlic, I have half teaspoon of each sweet ground red pepper, red pepper flakes, cumin, isot pepper, the dark one, if you can't find you don't have to use it, and ground red pepper, and one teaspoon salt. I also have more than a half tablespoon each tomato paste and red pepper paste. To chop them I am gonna use food processor and first I will process the green peppers and onions. I am adding the red sweet pepper, parsley, tomatoes. and process again. It should be uh, somewhat uh, fine but not like a puree. It is better if you can see the pieces. And now I can add my ground beef, tomato and red pepper paste along with salt and spices. If your meat doesn't have much fat content you can add a one two tablespoon olive oil and then I process everything and help for the sides to mix it evenly and we are looking for a, a wet mixture here so uh, if the tomatoes are not uh, make the mixture wet enough you can add a little bit more water to it or again you can add more tomatoes if you like. My mixture is ready so we can begin to make our lahmacun. As you can see my dough is very soft sticking to my countertop a little. I'm sprinkling some flour not too much and I'm going to cut the dough in eight pieces and make a bowl. By the way, I'm going to cook it on stove top on my pans, but you can uh, cook it in the oven too. And if you are uh, cooking in the oven, uh, you can make bigger lahmacuns on your pan. Uh, this size is suitable for about 30 cm length uh, pan sizes. So with the rolling pin, I'm going to roll out the dough until I reach the size of the pan I'm gonna use and also the pan should be non-stick. Rolling the dough doesn't take too much time it's easy 
let me say and with the help of the tablespoon I'm just going to spread the filling generously about two tablespoons let's say and if it seems dry again if you cannot uh, spread it easily you can always add a little bit more olive oil or water and my pan is heated now I'm transferring it as you can see with my hand but in a moment I will show you the second option to transfer it also this is important in order to cook the topping we need to close the lid if you cook it in the oven of course you don't have to and uh, to make it easier I'm going to cook the lahmacuns in two pans so uh, I can shorten the time and here is the second one checking the pan if it uh, gonna fit or I need to uh, roll it more you can also spread the topping with your hand but since I was recording at the same time I didn't want to get into it my stove is like on medium high heat but uh, it is better after one or two cooking uh, you will understand if you have to lower the heat because we want to cook the bottom and the topping at the same time without drying it uh, this is also important but you understand after cooking two lahmacuns or more for the cooked lahmacun as you can see I uh, put it in another pan and close again with a bigger round pan so it doesn't get dry stays soft and continue to cook the other pieces checking my uh, second lahmacun here it still needs a little bit more and here is the cooked one adding the second one upside down so they stay uh, soft with the topping inside and here is the second option for transferring your lahmacun which is a pizza peel here you can see and it is also great for if you want to cook it in the oven if you prefer to cook your lahmacuns in the oven you can use a stone for this similar to making pizza and also it is a closer taste to the ones uh, you eat on Turkish restaurants since they use stone oven and a wooden fire I continue to cook my lahmacuns until I finished my dough and topping I forgot to mention that we don't put any oil on, on the pan before transferring the lahmacun so this way it is like uh, cooked in the stoneware and also the texture the crunchiness so uh, don't you ever use any oil when you are cooking it so here they are done nicely crispy uh, you can always reheat them on the pan when you begin to uh, eat if you want to warm it up Garnishing your lahmacun is up to you uh, You can use parsley, uh, mint leaves, some sliced tomatoes thinly sliced and Squeeze lemon juice if you like if you like uh, fresh onions You can thinly slice them and mix it with some uh, salt and sumac It is another option to serve it and you probably must have seen it if you went to a Turkish restaurant for lahmacun please share your experiences if you have ever tried uh, how was it I think it is a great option for fast food or street food since it doesn't have too much dough and you don't fry it it doesn't have too much oil in it and of course so delicious especially with big glass of cold iron which is a simple yogurt drink with mix of plain yogurt, salt and water. On my channel I have a mint iron 
recipe. So if you try my lahmacun recipe, make sure you serve it with iron. And please, please don't forget to share your photos with me. I really get excited and happy to see them uh, from my Instagram account, Turkish Food Recipes and also Facebook accounts. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in another delicious Turkish Food Recipes. Afiyet olsun.